Thank you for coming to Fix It Joe's. My hand's not fixed, so that's why I got time to be doing this. I'm in my living room. But anyway, I had this footage on my phone for a year, probably going on two. I think it was 2018. We did that engine swap on that Easy Go golf cart. That was what you just saw, the end result. Them guys were kind of, they didn't know it was going to do that. They kind of hit it kind of hard. I hope the guy that owns it didn't see that. That was pretty rough on it. But it survived, and it's still running and uh, working good for them, I understand. So anyway, that's a Harbor Freight Predator engine. It was cheap. They're on sale right now, 2020. I just looked. They're uh, year mi the year model 2020, not $2,020. They cost $299.99, so $300. And we had an $80 belt. We were able to use the same clutch. We got a tapered shaft adapter off of eBay, I believe, or maybe Amazon. I'll have to look back. Uh, I think it was $12. Uh, we used the electric key switch and all that that came on the motor. The motor is electric start. It's all the charging systems. Everything's there. We used that uh, that came on the motor, just moved it to the dash. And uh, we used a scrap piece of aluminum we had for the, made the engine plate. And a uh, few bolts, nuts, and uh, I think the bottom line tax and all was $504. And they had a running golf cart with a new motor, lots of power. And I think they're real happy with it. So anyway, we're going to show you how we did that. And it's not very hard. didn't take very long. And you, it's not no special swing arm and a lot of uh, cutting and welding, a little bit of welding. But we're going to show you how to do it with no welding at all. We used aluminum plate and welded a little bit. But we could have done it with a steel plate and bolted it. It would have been just as fine. Probably would have been stronger. But the aluminum is plenty strong. So anyway, I hope you all enjoy this. If anybody wants to... Put a new engine in an old golf cart cheaply. Just tune in to Fix It Joe's and we'll show you how it's done. Enjoy. <laughs> this is our 2002 or 1 or 99. We don't really know. Easy going. Changing the motor because the old motor don't run with the turn. You know how you. Pull the easy go motor out. This was bolted here. You took this off in the front. This right here was the, these rubber donuts allow it to move up and down and all that. So anyway, this is bolted here. So you unbolt it from the rear end. You pull it down. We took this out and took it off. To get this clutch off, I guess that's another video. It's already off. It's real easy. This right here, we're going to turn it to this Predator engine. Right here, we're going from 300 cc's to 400 cc's. Boom, boom. All right, we got a little bit of plate here. And we're using that because that's what we had laying around. And we're gonna put these two bolts here, right there. And as you can see, hopefully it fits better the other way. We got their holes aren't matching. Nope. What happened, Brock? <laughs> anyway, uh, it's fitting pretty good. So these are going to bolt here, and we're going to weld this aluminum. That's going to give us, this bolts back under the rear end. That gives us a platform for our engine. Uh, in the front, eventually we're going to drill some holes here. We'll have the rubber here but we can't use the, the factory mount because we have to lower the engine we're gonna lose a little ground clearance for show them over here this right here is where the front hooks in it, this was like this there's two of them and the pin goes in the rubber goes between we cut the top and off bent this over we're gonna beef this up from the bottom you have to move the gear shifter out of the way. It's going to be, the engine's in the way. It's going to have to be lower between the driver's seat feet. And uh, anyway, that's episode one. Tune in again and see how good we do. Okay. So that kind of gets you started. We're halfway there. And that was a day, I believe. We didn't work on it long. Um, so as you can see, that swing arm... The motor was part of the swing arm, so when the motor was gone, the original motor, we had to put that plate so we'd have a place to put that Predator motor. But it um, wasn't that big a deal. It all worked out real good. 
And um, anyway, as you go along, well, you'll see us put it all in there, and it didn't take, like I say, not very long. And um, it shouldn't take maybe another video. We'd probably do it, maybe two, if we want to stretch it out. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you come back to episode two. This is Fix It Joe's Predator Engine Easy Go Golf Cart Swap. All right, Fix It Joe's. Come back. Thank you.